Hey gang, this is Stormy. Welcome back to another episode of Stormy Plays Super Hostile Isolation. Vex made this map and it's out for Patreons right now and it will be out for general release in January or February. February. Um, and I know he's going to make a few changes to the map, so keep that in mind. Anyway, at the in the last episode we went looting and collecting and we read some, some of Tally's diaries. And... Uh, I mentioned that I might sweet talk my husband into helping me with a minecart track, and he did that. So I haven't seen it yet. This is where he. This is where I logged in. This is where he left me. Uh, he made a little circular stop there. It looks like he ran it all the way to our base, which is awesome. He likes running minecart track. I hate it. <laughs> so you know, we make a good team. So let's go. Let's check this out. I am very excited, guys. I am. Ooh, wow, look at this. Awesome. Wow, let it snow, right? It's very Christmassy. I don't know if the original plan was to release this for Christmas, but it sure worked out that way. Uh, let's go this way. We, we go this way. Um, yeah, I'm not really geared up but we'll go take a look at the new area anyway and then i'll get geared up um although i mean well we don't have much food so uh, oh and i have no torches okay well that settles that i'll have to get i didn't want to uh i didn't want to do anything because i wanted to share the minecart track with you guys so you know i know he he used the the monster eggs to put the track on because, um, well, you know, we're not going to break it. So, <clears throat> it was a good spot. Yay! Thank you so much to my husband, Roy, a.k.a. Black Dragon. Uh, he, all, he used to be a uh, HawkRaw74. If you looked back in my channel, a little ways, you'd see stuff I've done with him on the channel. Uh, Minecraft stuff uh, that we've done together on the channel. I like how he put the redstone lamps next to the redstone. That's pretty sweet. Looks nice. Looks real nice. Um, uh, whoever did that, Vex or my husband. I think it was Vex at this point. I've lost track. But anyway, uh, so if you guys look, I think you'll be able to see through the snow. We have some structures. We have some domes I'm very excited for. This area is very, very much a do-during-the-day sort of area. Um, because while there are no natural spawns, what there are, are, is, uh, there are, like, wide area spawners. So, you know, that's something we want to keep in mind. Um, minecarts. Minecarts with chests. Okay. So, I love this area. I love the domes. They're, like, greenhouses, sort of. Um, lots of structures to explore. And as you guys may know, I love exploring structures. It's, like, my favorite thing to explore in these maps. We have a couple of airship pads there that uh, the miners would have put there. So that's awesome. Um, is this connected all the way across? I'm going to go back on this one just in case it's not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to base and uh, I guess repair my pick. Um, I We have a fortune book, I think, that we found. So... Uh, I can use that to uh, e eventually when I want to get diamonds. Um, I'll use Fortune 3. Sorry, I was being distracted. There's a staircase over there, and I was trying to remember if I ever explored that before. I probably did. Um, so just a heads up, <clears throat> the, uh, the final area is very hidden. Um, I'm not going to say any more than that because, uh, you know, well, spoilers, we're not there quite yet. We have a little bit more to go. Um, so, but it is very, very tricky to find. Uh, when I was testing it with my husband and my son, we actually, we looked all over the place for it. And finally I thought, okay, Laura, you've played, I don't know how many super hostile maps. You know how Bex thinks. Sort of. As much as anybody can. The man is nothing if not unpredictable. So, you know, think about it. And I stopped and I thought about it. And I went straight to it. And, uh, found it. So, yeah. 
It was a uh, it was a moment of glory for me. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. So let's see which way is this going to go. I think we're going to turn. Yep. I'll just send that card on on along because I don't have another one in my pocket. I'm going to go see. I don't think he looted my stuff. Um, you know, brought it back to base for me. I don't think he did. I didn't check. I didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> except log in with a mine card in my hand looking at the track. And then I started recording because, you know. But yeah, the last area, like I've said before, we will be using the diamonds that are available. Um, prior to that, I'm going to brew up a night vision potion so we can go down there and get the diamonds. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's a tricky area. I think it warrants diamond armor. I'll explain more about why it warrants diamond armor when we get there. But in the meantime, we are currently here. Oh, good, torches. Do you guys hear that sound? That was a weird friggin' cave sound, I'm just saying. So I'm going to see if I can cobble together enough supplies from this from this uh, base here to... Uh, do I have an anvil in here? I do. I don't need the gold. Um, I need the iron. Plop. Oh, 19. Um, probably easier just to enchant a new pick, I'm guessing. What are you? Efficiency 1. Um, nah, I kind of want... Also, is smite going to be? Yeah, smite will be useful. Um, some blocks. Do I have... Let me see what we've got over here. <clears throat> Let me see. Ah! I missed. <laughs> I, I missed the opening in the fence gate thing. Because I am so good. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's grab some arrows. Top off our supply of arrows. <clears throat> what books do we have? Blast, unbreaking, mending, mending, blast. Hmm. Um, I'm going to take one of these unbreaking books back to base and try to make a pick. Of course, I've only got seven, um, seven uh, points here, but I'll take the gold and the iron and smelt that up and get the XP from that. Um, so I'm going to pause and get back to base and do this stuff I need to do. And uh, I'm looking for gold I can smelt. Oh, also let's take a regen potion. And a speed potion. Those will be useful. And a gapple. There's the iron I was looking for. Oh, also I'm going to take straw and stall. And a jukebox. Whoops. And set that up. I think there might be a jukebox over there already. But just in case there's not. Alright, I'm going to go back to base and do some stuff. Damn it. And I will see you guys in just a tick. Stay tuned. Wee! It's a perpetual motion machine. They don't even have power. They just keep going round and round. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. I was sending minecarts chests down the track and well, this is what I came home to. So, wee! Uh that's my stuff you're running away with. I hope you know. I, but I broke the rail to try to get them to stop because I couldn't catch the chests to empty them very well. And then they went drifting down the hallway. Yeah. Mine carts are, you know, there are a few things you can rely on in Minecraft, right? There's a few things. Uh, <clears throat> creepers will blow up. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Skeletons will shoot you, you know, most of the time. Uh, and minecarts will be buggy. So, you know, it's good to know that, uh, it's good to know that there are things you can, you know, 
count on to be true and and uh, rely on that will stay, you know, uh, true. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, I'm going to finish this up. And uh, I'm just looting right now, so, you know, it's fun. Um, I'm going to go fix my track and uh, <laughs> take care of that problem there. There's still a few stacked up minecarts there, so, you know, good times. Anyway, I'll be back. <sighs> okay, gang, I am finally back. After smelting all my ores and a bunch of cobble and all that, I got... I finally built up to an efficiency three, unbreaking three pick. It took a couple tries, but I got it. <coughs> Excuse me. It was low level in chance and then put them together. And you guys know how it goes. So I didn't bother showing it because, I mean, you know, you guys all know how it works. Um, let's see. I meant to have everything gathered up, but I forgot a couple things. I want my regen potion. I want my speed potion. What I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Anyway, uh, is a strength potion to go with the speed part. I think Minecraft needs to add a potion that's both speed. Good Lord. The cave sounds speed and uh, started to say stoned. No, speed and strength. Good Lord. Um, I put straw and stod or stod and straw. What? Straw? Stall. Stall and straw. There we go. In a frame. Sorry, it has really been like, oh my god. Um, but I'm finally, 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 sort of, kind of done. I got some potatoes growing. They're growing really slowly, but they're growing at least. Um, I have a cart, a mine cart, so that's happy. Um, I'm going to take a second one just because if I don't take a second one, I will inevitably wish that I had taken a second one. There was something... I was going to do, but I don't remember what. Oh, well. Um, I am going to uh, tame some wolves because I think they'll be helpful in this area. But I don't want to do that this episode. So uh, I'll show that next episode because we have to go. Oh, for a minute, I thought I broke my car. We have to go over there to that wolf cave over there. Um, now, can I hit this switch before I go the wrong way? Uh... We have to go over to the wolf cave with some bones. And click, click. Ah, piffle. Ah, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Well, glad I brought a second cart. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over to the wolf cave. But we will need to, the easiest thing to do will be to, uh-oh, minecart them um, up this ramp here because it's one wide. And I know they'll teleport to you. But the thing is, if you're too slow... Going up that ramp for any reason, the wolves will teleport to you and fall. And take a lot of fall damage because by ramp I mean that big old hill. Um, it's really tall. So, uh, in order to avoid that happening, uh, we're going to just uh, minecart them up there. Um, I have like six bones right now. Um, I feel like there should be more somewhere. There might be, I don't know. But I'm not using them to grow anything because, well, I happen to know we're going to get some bone meal. So, um, spoiler alert, uh, we're going to get some bone meal that will work, you know, that, that we can use to grow things. Um, but I want the bones to tame the dogs because this next area would be helpful to have dogs. So, yeah. Let's get up there finally, now that we're sort of equipped. We're going to get up here. We'll use our speed potion to... Uh, get around more quickly um i was going to bring stuff to make a bed because dying in here well i mean it's always possible to die this is a super hostile map after all coming in here at night like i said before it's a really bad idea um and i'll explain why in a bit but yeah you definitely would prefer to do this during the day so oh hop see ya um is it gonna go yep it's gonna go What's in these chests? Just mine cards. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start on this side, and then we'll go over to that side. So, let's drink a speed potion. Um, whoops. Let's waste a few seconds figuring out my bar. Um, we're going to need wood. Uh, that's why I brought an axe. But, gee, I can't, I can't seem to find any trees. I don't know. 
I don't know how we're going to get wood um, without any trees. But we'll figure something out, pets. <clears throat> I want to show you guys this greenhouse. Because I love these. Little dome structures. They're so cool. This one has watermelons and cocoa beans and pumpkins. So yeah, very cool. Let's go in this building here. Oh, hey, wool. I can make a bed. Well, almost enough. Silk touch. Uh, tattered notes. Okay. I'll just take the chest, too. So I know I've gotten it. Let's check over here. Empty. Let's take it. Anything in the furnaces? Nope. Put a torch over the door. We've explored that one. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Sun's going down. Let's try real quick to find the makings for a bed. Because there are spawners around here. And they spawn in the buildings. Well, there's white wool. Did I take the white wool out of the other one? No. <laughs> they spawn in the buildings during the day. Dusty research documents and tattered notes. Okay. But uh, they'll spawn outside the buildings at night. So... Yeah, things can get real, really fast. <clears throat> Let's come in here and grab this white wool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Um, we're going to run over here and cut down this tree. So that when we do eventually find another piece of wool for a bed, we can make a bed. There we go. Just a few pieces of wood, but that's really all we need. Let's be very cautious, pets. Um... Put down some torches so you guys can see better. Uh, let's wait on that big building there. Because that looks important. I'd rather explore the other stuff first. Um, here's one that's been just taken over by weeds. That's a nice touch. You know, the, the ceiling's missing. There's some blocks down here. And there's, you know, wood. So that's pretty cool. I like that, Bex. Is there anything under this piece of gravel? A furnace. Ah, what a tease. It would have been a perfect place to hide something. I'm just saying. Grabbing this wood because we do need wood. Um, you know, it's kind of important. Ah! Chest is empty. Oh, good. Look, a third piece of white wool. I don't particularly want a white bed. It reminds me of the hospital, but I mean, you know, it's what you got. Let's go back over here, or not back over here, but let's go back this way uh, to this dome right here and find the door. Oh, it's right here. Cool. Let's look in here. Oh, pretties. There's beets. Shut the door. That's probably water. Sugar cane which is nice. Some trees, saplings for all the different trees. That's nice. If we wanted to grow a different kind of tree, we could do that. What color do we want our bed? Do we want an orange? Let's do orange. Leave that open. We explored that. Let's run back here to the the thing. I'm really surprised I haven't seen any monsters, but I am being very cautious. Because the guys here are no joke. They're pretty tough, so. Um, I'd really rather set my spawn before I start running into monsters. And also, I didn't grab a crafting bench. Because, why would I? <clears throat> so let's do that. Let's put that down. Right, Shmea. And then let's uh, do that, and that, and then that. Whoops. Is it like that? Yep. And then that, and that. Orange bed. Flop it down. Sleep. Look at my feet. Aren't they shiny? Oh, by the way, I changed um, our helmet. I We had blast protection. I put projectile protection on. So, yep. All right, let's go ahead and dump off our spare stuff here. 
And it's daytime now, so I feel a little safer. I promise you guys there will be combat. <laughs> it really sneaks up on you. Like, you can get in this area and go for a bit without finding any monsters. And then suddenly, there they are, and these guys will kick your ass. So, we want to watch out and be very cautious. What does the sign say? Wind Chill Research Lab. We're on the wind. We're at the Wind Chill Tundra, by the way, if I didn't say so. Um, here's a couple of ender chests. You... What do I hear? Oh, the music. You can move those, by the way. It's, it's not against the rules in this map to move the ender chests. Uh, so that's nice. Um... Don't I need Silk Touch? I need Silk Touch to pick up an Ender Chest. Which we have a Silk Touch book. I don't know if we need an Ender Chest. TBH pets. Um, I mean, they're useful, but like... I don't really know if we need one. It's not that big of a map. We hop. Random hop. Because I felt like hopping. I'm so happy and excited. Okay, clear out here. More tattered notes and dusty research books and that sort of thing. I like how the stairs are kind of patched. Oh, look! Box of yellow parts. Sweet, we found that. I swear I didn't remember it was in here. There is more than one in... Oh, yay! Nether wart, guys! Nether wart, I can make blaze rods. Or not blaze rods. Uh, uh, nose itch. Uh, strength! Posh! Ooh! Thank you, Veggies, for the Ender Pearls. I am such a happy Stormy right now. Like, for real, though. Let's come up here. Look around. Okay, it's clear. And this wall, or wall box of parts, is pretty easy to get. But in this area, it's almost like, you know, okay, here's the box of parts, but there's a whole lot of shit to explore and a whole lot of stuff to find. And we're going to want it because we're going to need it uh, for the last area, which is pretty damn tough. So, let's get out of here on the double. And this house has been explored. Okay, it's not really a house. It's a research lab. But, I mean, you know, it could be a house. Like, you could live there. Sorry, I bumped my mic. We've explored that one. My nose has suddenly started itching, and I do not know why. To be annoying, probably. Um, does this have a name? No, it's just a building. Okay. Let's see, diamond horse armor, some block books, ladder, a ladder. Those are monster eggs. I don't want those. Ah, uh, my speed just wore off. Oh, I'll take an end rod. Ooh, yes, I'll take 60. Oh, sure, there's a crafting table. Ooh, an enchantment table and a white bed, you know, because... Oh, yay, bottles of enchanting. And all the records. I don't really need those. I guess I'll take the glass. Damn it, stop hopping. It's the way I'm sitting. Uh, some banners, if we want to decorate, which we might do. Let's go ahead and take those. Let's take purple. I don't want white. Take purple and light blue. Um, hmm. Some vines. Saplings, acacia saplings. Uh, an armor stand. Hey, item frames. I just made some of those for my records. Obviously, I don't remember what's in, like, what's in these places because, you know, I keep, like, making things right before I find them. Like the crafting bench and the item frames, you know? It's like, I need this thing, and then I craft it, and then I find it. And it's like, well, you know? So I don't remember what's in this, what's in these things at all. Um, so that's pretty, it's pretty crazy, but that's okay. Right? That's, that's fine. It's the spirit of discovery, pets. Let's put all this stuff away. I think before the next episode, I'm going to go brew... Uh, I'm going to go brew some potions. And we can... Uh, we can, well, use them for stuff. Alright, so let's see. I think I was just in this building, right? Or was it over there? I don't know. I get so disoriented, especially with this snow. Oh, we haven't been in here. Okay. You want to look up? Because a lot of the times... this Oh, there's the Fortune 3 book. Okay. Um, a lot of the times, spawners will be up. Of course. So they can rain monsters on your head mercilessly. Let's go ahead and grab these things. I don't know what we'll need them for, but they're there. I mean, if you want... Ooh. 
If you want, yeah. you know, you could decorate pretty easily. He's given you a lot of stuff to decorate with. Build a base and decorate and all that. Um, I'm just kind of, I don't know, like... <clears throat> I'm not really doing a whole lot of building. Oh, I like this house. It's all viney. Look at it. Isn't that cool? Hey, flip the switch. I love this house. All kinds of mushrooms, lots of... Oh, there's bone meal. Aha. Ha 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 ha. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, there, you can have the flint steel. I don't think I'm going to need that. Yay, it's miracle Grow. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. I don't need the bars. My nose itches, and it's driving me nuts. I don't need all these shovels. Um, it's a fern. We're going to take a... Whoops. Damn it! Open the chest. Thank you. What do I not need in here? I don't need another axe. There we go. Whoops, hop. Sorry about the random hops. It's, uh... I've explained it before. It's because of the way... Because my keyboard, you know, the, the little, like, wrist rest that you have on your keyboard, mine is broken. So my hand rests kind of directly down onto my keyboard or onto the my keyboard tray, you know, below my keyboard, I guess. Um, but because I don't, you know, just the way my wrist sits, my thumb tends to brush the jump button. And this keyboard is like hypersensitive. So just touching the jump button, well, makes me jump. Um, Sometimes I can get sat j uh, positioned just right with my keyboard tray and everything that it doesn't really happen, but I'm having some trouble doing that. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, you guys. I'm having fun, and I don't want to, but haha, -ha, I can just record more because I love exploring this area. It's so much fun. So yeah, in the next episode, we're going to continue working our way that way. Uh, I don't think I have to tell you guys where a lot of the danger lies, so... We're going to want to be ready for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the episode, and I'll see you all real soon. Everybody take care. Bye now.